Hey guys, wanted to give you a quick rundown of what I do to make water. Didn't really see too many videos out there about having a system that's more or less mobile. I see a lot of fixed systems, which is the unit that's mounted on the wall or tucked under a sink. For us, since space is pretty limited, we didn't really have an option to make it permanent, or we do, but something that that's not visually appealing. We didn't want to have the canisters out, etc. So what I did was went to Home Depot, just picked up some for a standard two by four. It was actually free. They were uh, they had it in their scrap bin, uh, so Home Depot just gave it to me. Um, on my smaller unit, I actually just upgraded to the six stage. I had a single canister that attached right here. So I had a utility sink at our last house, so I used these hooks in the back and just hung on the utility sink. Used it when needed, not a problem. Here in Gilbert, the water is far worse. I actually looked up the city water test and I saw signs of phosphates, high levels of chlorine. Our TDS coming into the house was over 50. Um, so while I could have used the single canister, I would have gone through resin more. So the cool part about these bulk reef supply kits is it's easily upgradable so all I had to do to swap out the old canister to the new one was I literally just popped out the line coming into these new units so previously this blue line here which is the f output of your uh, your first set of filters here just were to plug into this so literally it's pretty much plug and play you can swap that out if you ever wanted to upgrade. But the point, you know, the point of this video is I wanted to show everyone what I do when I need to make water. So cheapest route for me was to reuse what I had. So I just got a longer board or two by four. I mounted the additional canisters onto it and then just use my hooks as grab handles. So when I need it, I just go to the garage, grab the whole unit. I'll actually put it down here I will utilize the washer and dryer portion of this. So I'm actually going to just pop this down. I have to make water now. So this will go right on the floor, just like that. You have your drain valve. So I'll utilize the washer drain we already have that right down into the drain hole. I'm actually gonna go under it, that way it doesn't come out. So drain is now set. Here is my input cable. Another problem we had was, previously I would always unthread this and thread on, let me zoom in for you guys. I would always be unthreading and threading on the connector when needed to make water. Well. The wife didn't like that too much because anytime she wanted to do laundry, she'd have to wait for me to make water. Or I would stop making water and she'd make, you know, her load of laundry. So they have these uh, these split valves on Amazon. So now she can always do the laundry. I can always plug in whenever I want to make water. And the beauty of this is, I think they're called the Murloc connectors. I'm spacing the name. But I literally just plug in. And I'm done. That's the feed to my water. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. It's gonna drain after, so for me, for the video, for the purpose of the video, it's okay. So I'll turn this on simply by turning the valve. You'll see now the water coming through my meter. I am going to flush it for two minutes. Then when the time is ready and I see my TDS start to fall back down, look at that. It'll be up in the threes. We'll go all the way back down to 40 or 50. Once it's ready to rock and roll, I'll turn the unit back off by turning the valve and I'll take my blue line, which is my return into my freshwater container. 
I drilled a little hole in a 40 gallon root can. Actually, I think it's a 20 gallon. Yeah, 20 gallon. And I put a float valve on it. That way I don't have to watch it. And I'll have, a valve, I'll have my own dedicated fresh water bin and I have a salt water bin in the garage. So this is nice. 100% mobile. I could wheel this in and out. I could pick up my whole unit whenever I want to use it. So let me guys know if you have any other questions or yeah, just figured I'd give you guys a quick view. Enjoy.